All right, happy Friday. Greetings, fellow patriots. Hope everybody's having a good week. You know the routine. Hey, give me a minute here and share this out. We're just getting started. If you jump on, make sure you say hello. Share this if you would be so kind. I'll take a minute to get uh, a couple people on here. Hard to believe that it's June already. You know what I'm saying? Like the year's gone by so fast already. <clears throat> and I got, I'm going to warn you guys right now. I got, you know, today's show is going to be different. It's It might, um, uh, I'm not going to, it's not going to, I don't want to say trigger, it, it It might piss some people off. You, you might get frustrated with me, and it's certainly not, the, that is not my intent today, but I'm I'm, I'm going to put that out there for you right now. So if you jump on, make sure you say hello. Let me know you guys are out there in the old interweb lands. Share this, because we've got some uh, interesting things that we're going to talk about today. Um... And uh, I got a feeling that uh, it's going to spark a lot of questions um, with some of the stuff that I'm going to share. Uh, and and here's here's the thing. I'm really not going to get into a whole lot of detail with it. I'm going to post a couple of links uh, where you can um, check out this information for yourself. You know, but but first and foremost, let's go ahead uh, and let's go ahead and get started. Um, it is. Just a few minutes after nine. It looks like it started a little bit earlier today, <clears throat> which is nice. Well, I'll be damned. Look at that. Annette, how are you? Ladies and gentlemen, Annette Wittenberger. She's an amazing, amazing individual. I absolutely love this woman. She's great. Um, podcaster. She's a uh, author. Uh, all it's all good things. You got to follow her. Somebody you ever want to. Kenneth, what's up, brother? How are you? you? Wait till I got what in store for for you guys today, Ken. This is gonna be this is gonna be a good one. Uh, yes, we do. Christina, what's up, sis? How you doing? Appreciate you. Listen, guys, I, I pay attention to what I have for you here today. I'm telling you, you're not gonna want to miss this. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And before I get into kind of the meat and potatoes of it, I titled this one, where's the United States. And that's going to, that's going to like people are, what are you talking about? We're in the United States. Are we? I'll get to that here in a second, but first and foremost, let's recognize June. June is PTSD awareness month. Now I got mixed feelings on the PTSD awareness side of it. Is it important? Absolutely. And you used to have all these different challenges and whatnot, like, Hey, let's, let's do, this to recognize PTSD awareness. I think the awareness side of it is there. I think we we're all aware that the PTSD is a thing. What are we doing to combat it? Or what are some things that we can do to help our brothers and sisters? Um, and I use brothers and sisters, anybody that, 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 you know, might be dealing with PTS or PTSD. Um, from a veteran side of things, I think there's a lot of great organizations out there uh, that we need to get involved with and uh, that are doing things for vets with PTSD and, and whatnot. I, I also know I've recently did a series on the Decision Hour podcast um, about plant-based medicines and stuff, and there's a lot of things going into uh, into psychedelics and, and stuff like that, and I'm not... I'm not promoting it one way or the other. I'm just saying there are people that I've talked to, you know, from your basic enlisted, you know, uh, ground pounder to your, your tier one operator um, and everybody in between that, that have tried this uh, plant-based stuff. And, and there's some been positive results to it. I find it very fascinating and, and it's very interesting. Um, but find out what works for you. Uh, if you are somebody that has PTSD, you know, if, if you enjoy being outdoors, if you enjoy enjoy uh, 
writing, write a book, keep a journal. Uh, I think the, the, I would say one of the things is, and this is my personal opinion, is I think just staying involved and, and finding, you know, trying to find purpose, you know, what is it that it's keeping you, holding you back, keeping you down, or, or why is it the, you know, what, what was the trauma? How can you get through it? Um, there's a lot of different ways to do that. And we're going to cover more of that uh, each week, uh, maybe bring up some organizations that I've, that I've found or that, you, that I've worked with myself. But then there's a lot of good organizations out there. And listen, if you're an organization that's watching this, if, whether you're a nonprofit or, 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 or what have you, um, if you watch this, leave a comment in the uh, section below and let us know what it is that you're doing to help uh, people with PTSD. So again, PTSD Awareness Month, it's there. Um, I tried to find the, the closest teal shirt and handkerchief I had that's the closest I had, but uh, I wanted to recognize that because I, I think it's very important. So we'll be, again, just talking a little bit about that each week uh, and maybe highlighting some different organizations throughout the month uh, of uh, people that I've come across with or, or worked with uh, personally that help people with uh, PTSD. And, and again, folks, if you are uh, out there and you're watching this, if you know of an organization or whatnot, please leave, leave a comment uh, below and, and let us know. So next up, we're going to transition now into this hot topic. Where is the United States? <clears throat> Let me give you a backdraft. Hey, JD, what's up, brother? Appreciate you jumping on. Good morning to you. Where is the United States? We're in it, right? We're in the United States. Are we? I recently did an interview with a gentleman um, who kind of breaks down the actual, uh, the laws, like the law of the lands, it's written. You can find these laws. Um, I, I've done extensive research on it now um, through Cornell. Um, there's a, oh, I knew I should have wrote it down. I have it written down. I just downloaded it. There's a, a law book, uh, Black's Law Book Dictionary is another one. And I'll listen, I'm going to, as we start talking about this more, I'll, I'll put these <clears throat> in there. But um, what, what, where is the United States? Oh, hold on. Ken, what do we have here? Yep. So what's the def, let's, first off, let's talk about, you know, where, where, okay, where is the United States? The actual definition, let's talk about the actual definition of the United States. The actual definition of the United States is a federal corporation as per 28 USC-3002, uh, Section 15A. And the location of the United States is in District of Columbia as per the UCC, which is the Uniform Commercial Code, 9-307H, and I'm going to put this on here right here so you guys can look this up yourself. Now, as soon as I did that, chances are that the uh, uh, powers-to-be that are, are, are watching this and like to silence us are going to uh, shut this down. So listen, share this, and, and, and again, don't take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. That's why I'm putting it up here for you guys, all right? I've looked this stuff up personally. This is what it says. So, um, U.S. or excuse me, UCC 9-307 says in black and white, the location of the United States is located in the District of Columbia. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you that actual link uh, right there. Uh, it's through the law of of, uh, of Cornell. Um. And it's it's just it's the United United States is classified as a federal corporation. Um, why is this important? I've I've for years and years and years I have heard that there are two different types of the United States. There's the United States of America, and then there's the United States. So the United States is a federal corporation. And again, don't take my word for it. This is in black and white in the law books. It's a federal corporation, um, and that's kind of like where we're paying our taxes to and whatnot, and I'll get into that. And this is, again, folks, uh, warning here. This is 
this matrix as you dig through this it gets frustrating and this is at no point at all i'm not putting out this information to frustrate people or to trigger anybody i have nothing be listen those of you that have been watching me and following me for a long time know that i have the utmost respect for our law enforcement our, our attorneys i got friends that are attorneys we have a team um i got family and law enforcement and whatnot that absolutely love them and, and 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 even though i'm putting this information still support them by this but there's stuff that you should that you need to know <clears throat> and we've talked about you know there, there's been a divide a couple of weeks ago, somebody had, had brought up, uh, said, you know, why are you, you using division, us against them? It, it, I'm not even using that right now at this point. But there is a significant difference between um, like a U.S. citizen versus a uh, United States of America citizen based on your basic rights and what it is what the difference is and a lot of the time it's meant to be confusing this is them purposely doing this and i'm going to be here in the next two weeks i'm going to be launching an interview with a gentleman um who i can't really print you know it's family family show so i can't pronounce i can't say what his website is but it's one stupid f spell out the f word Dot com and you can you can find his information there and he there's several other people that have kind of breaking down the laws of like um you know are you a citizen of the united states or are you a, a, a national and and are a sovereign or whatnot and it kind of breaks it up in the national sovereign i'm a sovereign citizen that there's been a lot of uh um i don't want to say bad juju but you know some people are like i'm 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 an you know, sovereign, national, I don't have to listen to your laws and blah, 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 blah. It's not entirely true either. You know, you have to really kind of break this stuff down. And when you look at this stuff, if if you choose to look at the stuff that I'm giving you as tools today, I want you to remember that, one, you have to, most importantly, you have to look at this stuff and you take the emotional side out of it. You're going to get a little emotional on it. I'm going to tell you that right now. I did when I first looked at it. And I was like, man, what the F? And I started asking a lot of questions. And it was uh, very eye-opening to, to think. So check it out. Um, I, the one that I just posted there, the definition of a citizen of the United States versus a U.S. citizen coming from um, 14 CFR-47.2, which is um, also – I referenced a lot of the Cornell stuff because Cornell made it very easy for uh, – and put things into layman's term. But what does it mean? Um, uh, the term national is, is defined. The term national means a person owning a permanent allegiance to a state. I am a national of the state of Arizona or the state of California, state of Texas, where, wherever state you live in. Um, and this is important because you guys are going to see, hey, um, you know, why am I paying taxes on X, Y, and Z? And then you realize, oh, it's because I'm putting this on my W-9 form or it's because this is titled this way. It just, these are tools that are supposed to give you a, a better understanding. There's going to be more on this. I'll do a separate show on this here in a couple of weeks when we have more information on it. But, um, you know, like I said, the next two weeks, I'm going to be launching a show from the Decision Hour it's a two-hour long show, and we only scratched the surface. We're we're going to be doing a part two uh, of it as well about you know taxes, where your taxes are going, how do you overcome some of that stuff. And again, this is going to get silence. I can already tell. I'm already having some issues uh, with it. So if you guys can hear me, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you guys are still out there, uh, and and share this. That's all I'm going to talk about with with this for today. I don't want to. I don't want to crawl down that rabbit hole too far. Uh, Lance, thanks, brother. I appreciate you uh, you jumping on because uh, this is important topics that we're talking about uh, here. So where's the United States? That's why. Thanks, Ken. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Uh, share this stuff. It, and listen, guys, I challenge you guys to look at the links that I gave you um, and 
tell me what you think. Read it and tell me what you think. Seriously, send me a DM us. Let me know. Hey, Lance, listen, man. God bless you. Safe travels. Um, I hope you get down there safely. Um, all right. So that being said, you know, where's the United States? I've told you the United States, it's a federal corporation and it is in the district of Columbia. What does that mean? Stay tuned more to find out because, uh, I'll be going over some of that stuff later on. Right. So when you put down, I'm, I'm a U.S. citizen. Does that mean that you live in the district of Columbia? I don't know. Look at the laws. Tell me what you think. JD, these just after 6 a.m. Oh, boohoo. Can you move these closer to like noon? No. No, I can't. You know, I've thought about moving the show to a different time, but here's the thing. It's it's nine it's quarter after nine here. And um contrary to popular belief, I actually work and have things to do during the day as well. So I figured I'd do this early, early early-ish my time. Yeah, see, there you go, J.D. Do it, Lance. Just stay up all night. All right, listen, let's let's move on. Again, check out these links that I sent you, um, and let me know what you think. And no, I can't do that on a full-time basis, at least. Uh I think you'll find it interesting. Listen, we got a new sponsor. Let me let me let me let me move on here, guys. New sponsor to the network. Super stoked to have Feed the People by the People. Go to feedthepeoplebythepeople.com uh, and check them out. Listen, if you're looking for a local rancher to get your meat from, uh, or if you're a farmer or a rancher and you'd like to become part of their directory uh, so people can find you easier. Go to feedthepeoplebythepeople.com. Great organization. Uh, one of the founders is no stranger to HMG. Our buddy, uh, A.J. Richards, uh, is up there in Cody, Wyoming, uh, and he's doing some amazing things up there. So uh, go check him out. Show him some love. Uh, yeah, so thank you, Feed the People, Buy the People, for becoming uh, one of the new network sponsors. We got a new show coming to HMG, and uh, I'm actually going to be working with these guys this afternoon, uh, so I'm excited about it. Warrior GMR HQ Podcast. This unique platform is passionately dedicated to promoting health, wellness, and a strong sense of community within the overlapping spheres of veterans, gaming enthusiasts, and uh, budding entrepreneurs. As we all recognize the powerful synergies among these vibrant communities, our mission holds steady to harness gaming as a medium for fostering mental health, uh, resilience, and positive impersonal, uh, impersonal connections. How many of you guys out there are gamers, play games, video games, and whatnot? This is a really cool podcast. It's a cool organization. It's a nonprofit. they got a big event coming up this fall uh, down in D.C. that I'm looking forward to. to go, just go check it out. Uh, I believe they're based out of Scottsdale, Arizona, so where most of you guys that are just waking up uh, are. You check them out, Warrior GMR. It's cool stuff. I tell you, it's, it's a, I can't, I'm still mind blown that it's June already, right? Uh, what else do we have? I really, I really, guys, seriously, I really want to crawl down this rabbit hole, but I, I can't. I gotta, yeah, I, I, I can't. I will put this. I'll put this, uh, the website that I was referring to, and it, it is, it is a, um, <laughs> that's the actual website. I'm sorry. That's that is the website. I'm probably gonna get tagged for that too. Whatever. It's, it's been a while, I guess. But yeah, those of you that, that want to be, you know, understand freedoms and stuff, go check it out. And, and it, it's not just his stuff. We got, I, I got a Rolodex of other websites and stuff that, that talk about this stuff and really kind of look at, they dissect the law. Anyway, okay, moving on. Sorry. Not, <laughs> I can't help it. 
Uh, win a Bronco from Team Addo. Listen, they're doing they're doing the giveaway. I believe the drawing is uh, end of September, and they have uh, they still got some tickets left. It's a brand new 2022 custom Ford Bronco. Um, you get the brand new Ford Bronco, and this thing is all tricked out. It's amazing, uh, but you also will get ten thousand dollars cash for uh, tag uh, tax tags and registration as well. So check it out. Team Otto, love you guys. Uh, JD, you can say whatever you want. I have a self life of 24 hours. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So true. Listen, uh, what else do we have? HMG subscriptions. Don't forget, you coffee lovers out there. Lance just bought a Bronco. <laughs> Is it souped up like this? Check it out, seriously. Up it to a V8, and then I'll be interested. I don't, I don't know what's in it, Ken. I, it, this thing is like you. I know you've seen the pictures on it, right? I have. It's it. This thing's decked out to the T. It's got monster rims. It's the uh, custom interior. It, 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 it. I've sat in it. It's absolutely beautiful but they're only selling 5000 they're only selling 5000 tickets so you get a 1 in 5000 uh 1 in 5000 chance of of winning and you know the, all the other car stuff that I've seen on the internet you know they sell it like $30 but they sell it you know hundreds of thousands uh this here you got a 1 in 5000 so 1 in 5000 uh, chance of winning so the, the the odds are really quite in your favor uh, coffee lovers, HMG coffee subscription models are up. We have fixed the website for those of you that reached out to me earlier this week. Um, go check that out and let me know. And we're running out of some of our blends right now. So I'll be placing an order here in the next week. Um, I believe we're, we're out of, uh, some of the Brazilian and whole bean. Uh, we are out of patrol um, actually I lied. We, we have some of that stuff. We just got to do some more, but we go check out our blends. We have a new decaf that's coming in July finally. So we're looking at that. Um, but yes, go, go check out our blends. Listen, the, 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 don't get me started. Yeah, I know. I know the coffee website is, I, we fixed it. I went over and we fixed it and Ken, I, I do appreciate uh, you letting us know. We apparently we had some one of the buttons wasn't working when you sign up. Our sign up button wasn't working, and then when you clicked on it, you click subscription, and then it would take you right to the cart and wouldn't let you keep shopping. And that was one of the complaints that I had. Uh, so they went and uh, apparently that was fixed uh, yesterday or two days ago. Um, and I got to get back on there today to check it out. But um, it it was actually it it, it was quite frustrating. But you know, I live and learn, you know, we're, we're, we're just getting back into this. So I appreciate everybody's patience with it. Go check out the blends. Listen, the money that we make on this goes to community heroes. We take our cut as far as like what our costs were for it. And the proceeds go to help community heroes. And there's a couple organizations that we've done some donations uh, with here on a local basis and whatnot. So Uh, but JD, it's just the ground. I mean, like I got uh uh or the whole bean. We're out of the whole bean, so if you want ground, we still have some of the ground ground stuff. And I'm getting I'm getting you know several pallets here in the next uh, two weeks. So don't worry, we'll be back full swing. If you guys decide to order, just DM me. Ken, same with you. I know we got to get you uh, set up and stuff. So, all right, listen, let's uh. Don't even... Go check it out. Hey, listen, and uh, gin, it's gin season. Let's let's be real. It's gin season. Tennessee, Missouri, if you guys are in those states, go check out the HMG gin. Um, still working on where – here's it. I'm gonna, let me put this out there. If anybody knows of an open warehouse in whatever state at this point, I'm looking for a warehouse no more than 
1,200 square foot, something small, and I got to be able to get it bonded and insured. If you know a warehouse space anywhere or a place where I could put a warehouse, uh, damn it, let me know. So we can get this stuff moving. All right, let's get into the shows. Some great shows this week. Uh, I'm super excited. Some of them were very kind of eye-opening. Let's start off with the other side of the firewall, one of our newer shows. This week, Ryan and Shannon uh, have guest uh, Aisha Hollins to discuss what they've been doing all week uh, and what the media has piqued their interest. Um, Talk a little bit about Aisha's background uh, in IT and the technical field. This is a hot show, guys, seriously. Uh, go check it out on the other side of the firewall. Uh, Wheelchairs for Warriors, new stuff. Go check out their organization. I love these. They're doing great stuff. Uh, let me... Uh, so I can't... I can't know this. <laughs> Camp Navajo. Huh. Now, there's a place I haven't been in a while. Yeah, I would... Yeah, listen, they're... Hmm. Ken, you might be onto something, actually. I doubt that would be able to happen, but... Like, the logistics of it, probably a nightmare. But it would be kind of cool. I think it would be kind of cool. Uh, next up, Misfit Nation Podcast. This week, Joey... I'm not even... Try to pronounce his last name because I'll butcher it. Um, Joey's helping individuals, business owners, and realtors become unstoppable. Joey's been featured on Fox, CBS, and NBC, along with being named one of the top business coaches in America for two consecutive years in the uh, NYC Journal and Distrib- uh, Disruptors Magazine. Joey's known for helping realtors and small business owners to unlock their pathway to success through creating uh, accelerating systems of habits and total mindset alignment. Great episode. I love this uh, this interview. Go check it out, the Misfit Nation podcast. Shit. <laughs> we store stuff for everyone. Send, uh, Ken, send me a, a, a DM privately then. Would you please just remind me? Because I'll have some questions for you. Thank you. I got looking out. Yeah. See, when you do nice stuff like that, and I definitely gotta make sure that I gotta, gotta get that, make sure the website's functional and stuff for the beverage stuff. Yeah. Battle to be. Well, look who we have here. I'm gonna be talking about you in just a few minutes here. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Battle to be another great nonprofit organization. Go check to check them out. They got a podcast with us here that we're gonna talk about here in just a couple minutes. Appreciate you jumping on, Chris. Thank you. Uh, next up, we have Pushing Back Chaos. This was an awesome one. Thank you for your service with special guest Skylar Anderson. This week, Mike uh, brings on artist and musician Skylar Anderson. Skylar is a, a rising country music artist, well known for his patriotic song, Thank You for Your Service. But he's also a hardworking husband, father, and actively pushes back the chaos of his music career and all that life uh, brings. This was a cool interview. Uh, Skylar kind of dives into, like, his background and how he got into music, and it was kind of surprising, really. Um, And a really cool song. Guy's, Guy's got a great voice. Check it out, Pushing Back Chaos. Another thing about these guys, Pushing Back Chaos, they started doing some live feeds once a week. I believe this week Melon's going to be going live tomorrow. They've been doing it on Saturday. So last week Tio was on, the week before Mike was on, and I believe that tomorrow uh, Melon is going to be on for all the way from the other side of the world um, talking to you guys. You can follow Pushing Back Chaos on Instagram. They don't do live on, on Facebook, but they do lives on uh, Instagram, so check that out. All right, next uh, next up, this one here, kind of a funny show. But, like, kind of, I don't know, rub me the wrong way, too. Let me tell you what about Environmentally speaking, love this show. Um, It's very educational, in my opinion. And this week, the topic was copper discharge. (sighs) 
I know there's jokes in there somewhere. We're not going to do it, though. Uh, the Federal Clean Water Act contains something called a citizen suit provision. And if you're thinking it means a citizen's arrest, well, you'd be right. But before you get too, before you get too excited, there isn't actually an arrest process. So why are they telling you this? The lawsuit that they're talking about in this episode uh, has to deal with uh, just that, a... a citizen suit provision um, that involved a company that was discharging illegal amounts of copper into the Pawtuck River. This was up in uh, Rhode Island. And what does it mean for the river? So what they talk, they talk about what does it mean when the, the uh, amounts of discharge that they're letting into the water. You'd think copper. Copper can't be that bad. Well, it can be, with especially with the amounts that they were. And it was a textile uh, manufacturing plant of all things. So you would think, okay, they're they're discharging their textile, you know, waste into the river. That wasn't the case. It was their cop, uh, this copper, untreated copper that they were discharging, and it was an ungodly amount. Uh, and it's starting to affect the the waterways there in Rhode Island. Why am I telling you this? Because it's Rhode Island. Some of you guys don't live. Well, we got people that live up there in Rhode Island and Massachusetts area where these waterways affect. But again, this is one of those types of shows that, hey, if it's happening up there and they're talking about it, it might be happening in your neck of the woods too. So pay attention to it. So uh, make sure you check it out, environmentally speaking. Gabe, what's up, brother? All the way from Oklahoma. So obviously you're traveling this week. Safe travels, brother. Appreciate you jumping on. Uh, next up, hey, next up, we got the, our MSEC podcast from Military Child Education Coalition. This week, MSEC's very own Mark Patton, he's the MSEC military student consultant, shares tips for paying for college, uh, discusses pitfalls students need to be aware of ahead of the application process, and highlights resources to help navigate the world of financial aid for military families. Boom. Those of you that have kids that are in school, especially in high school, and they're getting ready to take that next step if they're going to go to college, you definitely want to listen to this show. Amazing resources that Mark puts out. Uh, go check it out. It's the MSEC podcast from our friends over at the Military Child Education Coalition, which next month we will be in D.C. at their national conference, so stay tuned for that. Uh, next up, we got the Arms Room Show. This week, they're discussing plate carriers and load-bearing setups for the regular world and not for military operations. How many of you out there have a plate carrier? Chest plates, stuff like that. Anybody? You may want to, listening to this, you may want to consider getting one. So check it out. Um, let me see here. JD, what do you have here, too? Hey, thank you, JD. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. This is, I love you guys. Good looking out, guys. Good looking out. Um, next up, Chasing Happiness. Go check out Ryan. This week, Ryan's looking uh, for businesses to acquire and to change over into things that will help people. Chasing Happiness, check it out. Uh, the Joel Evans Show. Joel is still on uh, a little bit of a hiatus, but go check out his new book, Ignite. Uh, and then now we have... Rise up, ignite your life with our friends from uh, Battle 2B. Uh, Krista, she was on here uh, a few minutes ago. This week, join U.S. Navy veteran and retired U.S. Marshal uh, Robert Legendor. Hope I said that right. As we discuss systematic failure and his story of standing up for what he believed in, no matter what the cost. Very cool. Uh, episode so check that out <laughs> uh you guys are something else gabe i'm not going to do that because that's just asking for trouble and ken i mean i guess <laughs> uh rise up ignite your life check it out uh and it was cool that they were that she talked with with a, a retired u.s marshal 
If you ever ever dug into the U.S. Marshal Service and the history of the U.S. Marshals, very fascinating. Just throwing that out there as a as an extra. Next up, we got Label Free Podcast. Singer, actress, model, and activist Sakia Blue, uh, who shares her journey of breaking free from limiting beliefs and labels. She discusses her early days in the music industry, learning the importance excuse me, of understanding the business aspect and how technology changed the game uh, uh, for independent artists. She also talks about the challenges uh, she faced as a woman in an industry, uh, in that industry, and the importance of having multiple skill sets. So uh, check that out. Great episode, as always. Label-free podcast. Love it. Next up, we got Because Bikers Matter podcast. Our man, Vegas, sits down with retired Marine, Billy Gray. And they discuss the sacrifice of Memorial Day and what it means. Uh, They discuss the importance of remembering and honoring those who have fought for our freedoms and the sacrifices they have made. Gray also talks about the importance of teaching younger generations about the value of patriotism and leaving the world a better place. Great episode, a uh, little bit of a tearjerker. I loved it because bikers matter. Check it out. Uh, next up, we got Time to Shine Today. Love this one. Uh, get your talk ready to rock uh, and get speaking gigs right now with speaking coach and author uh, Lessa Reed. If you want to make a bigger impact on your business, Reed shares expert secrets on how to utilize public speaking to broaden your reach and attack more, attract more of the ideal clients easily. Uh, This session is ideal for entrepreneurs who want to use the power of public speaking to grow your business. Those of you that are business owners out there, and I know I got a few of you that are on, um, if you haven't thought about doing any public speaking events, do it. Be surprised. It's a great networking thing, too. You'd be surprised how many people come up to you. This particular show, Time to Shine Today, funny story real quick, sidebar. Uh, Scott Ferguson, a.k.a. Fergie, uh, when I met him, and Shea Sparks, who I'm going to talk about here in just a couple minutes, Shea Sparks, I met them. uh, They said, Adam, you have like that uh, resting bitch face uh, after a speech that I gave at at a conference. So I thought that was kind of funny. But it worked. Anyway, moving on. We got your six at six every Sunday night, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time with the People's Patriot Project. Go check them out. Great shows every Sunday night, 6 p.m. They do a roundtable, veteran singers. Uh, They got some special guests coming in, so make sure you check it out. Follow the People's Patriot Project. Great organization. Love what they're doing. God's Good Table. Follow them on uh, Instagram. Uh, the S3 with JD. I'm sure JD's got something. He's leaving comments here. JD, what 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 do you got coming up here? Anything anything here in the next uh, next couple of weeks? I believe, right? Last, certainly not least, season nine, the power of investing in people podcast with Shay Sparks is live now. We she's back, uh, and this week, the power of sharing your story. This first episode of Season 9, Shea celebrates having 204 episodes. Shea, congratulations. That's quite a feat uh, to accomplish. So congratulations on that. Uh, She shares her own personal heartfelt story of abuse, addiction, anger, depression, uh, low self-worth, being bullied, and being a bully. Uh, This episode has... the disclaimer on this, it does have a disclaimer, may trigger someone, and Shay knows that if she can overcome anything that she has, and so can you. <clears throat> I'll be honest with you, I've listened to this one. This is one of the ones we uh, we do full production on, and um, I've known Shay for about three, four years, and this was hard for me to listen to because I know her as an individual, uh, as a person, and whatnot, and uh, it it. It does get, it gets you. It's kind of eye opening. Uh, great episode. Sponsors, listen, we got some sponsors. Um, my tax fella, bookkeeping, your taxes, 
And after what I talked about at the beginning of the show, if you're just joining me and you didn't hear the beginning of the show, go back and listen to it. Check out the links that I left. Make sure you hit up Anthony and his crew over at My Tax Fella. Uh, JB Auto Clothiers, always providing the great jackets and suits. Um, go check this out. If you want to set up a suit-up event in your area, uh, send me a DM, and I'll give you the information on what is needed for that. Uh, but go check out jbautoclothiers.com. Um, great organization. Love being a part of that. Alibi Tattoo and Piercing. Um and tattoo removal. If you just happen to be in the Pennsylvania area, let us know. We'll get you set up down there. Ken, I'm going to address that here in a second. Let me get through these here. Um, Honor Brewing, down in uh, just outside of Virginia, uh, outside of D.C., go check them out. Honor Brewing. Got a hold brewing company over in Eureka Springs. Absolutely love you guys out there. Thank you very much. Motorcycle Safety Lawyers. Another amazing group. And listen, if you ride, you definitely want to know who military, uh, motorcycle safety lawyers are. Absolutely love these guys. Forget Genetics, my buddy Barry. Uh, listen, if you go to forgetgenetics.com and you purchase anything on his website and use promo code HMG, he's going to give you 10% off. Uh, Barry's an uh, Army veteran, retired, great guy. Uh, and he's got some amazing products. And if you're an outdoorsman such as myself, uh, you like to hunt and stuff like that, this is the type of stuff that you want on your property. Check it out. Forget genetics. Uh, what else? Uh, feed the people, buy the people. Go check that out. Feed the people, buy the people.com. Check them out. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And then, of course, last, certainly not least, we or, well, not last, a couple more. Uh, Caraba is down in Fayetteville. This is the one on Sycamore Dairy Road. Uh, if you're down in the Fort Bragg area and you want a place to eat, go into Carabas, tell them HMG sent you. And then last, certainly not least now, we got HMG Beverage. Go check out our different coffee blends that we have. And if you got something that you want, ask us about our wholesale pricing. If you got an event coming up and you would like your label on your own coffee blend, ask us about our wholesale stuff. Send me a message. Let me know. Uh, let's see here. Andrew, let's see. Andrew's not on here right now, but Andrew posted something. There's a big calendar event that stuff is going on in the Tennessee area. Let me get that. JD says Sports Media X five day free challenge coming up at the end of June. Sweet. Taxation is theft. Yes, it is. And uh, let me put this out there. Ken's going to make me go down a rabbit hole here. How many, you know, when you pay your taxes, where, where does that tax money go? Anybody know? Uh, this is a legitimate question. I see I got a couple people live right now, and I'll, I'll wait a minute see if anybody knows. Where does your tax money go? Where does your tax money go? I'll wait to see if anybody's got an answer for it. I'm not going to give you the answer. I'll tell you if you're right or not. You... <laughs> uh, Surprisingly, no. That might be where it ends up once it's funneled, but no. <laughs> Look up United Nations. What's the United Nations? I'm just throwing that out there. According to everybody that gets pulled over, goes, did you get pulled over, J.D.? And that's false too. And if you start reading the some of the links that I gave up up top um, about you know different U.S. codes and stuff, you'll see that that's not true. Anyway, listen, I, I'm not going to go down this rabbit hole uh, right now. I, I do me a favor, guys, share this, especially that stuff about you know um, where is the United States. It's something again. These are tools that I'm giving you so you are aware of what your basic rights are as a, a human being, quite frankly. I don't know, you know, so check, check it out. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, again, PTSD Awareness Month. What can we do to help our brothers and sisters? Um, stay involved. Do a buddy check. That's it. It's June. Let's have a great month this month. In the meantime, God bless you. God bless America. Be the light in somebody's uh, darkness. Smile a lot. 
make someone laugh. Until next week, guys, have a good one. Take care.